It turns out there actually is subtitles in this game. There wasn't in the original release, but in the GOG release they actually included them. And it's been suggested that you need to adjust some of the settings in the config files, but it turns out if you just press the letter T, it enables the subtitles. It's Citizen Dave, the bartender. Which is a little bonus. And before we go anywhere... Greetings, citizen. Let's understand a little bit more about the law in this game. I'm not going to go into too many of these, maybe two or three, but we have heard a couple of things. It'll be nice to actually understand a bit, a bit more about this game world. The Omnibrain. All information about the Omnibrain is classified for your convenience. Gathering information about the Omnibrain is a violation of Directive 27. Please report to an enforcer for personality restructuring. Thank you for your interest. The Omnibrain loves you. Um, surely that this article here is a violation of Directive 27? Directive 27. Citizens are not to gather information about the Omnibrain. Doing so demonstrates unhealthy curiosity and requires personality restructuring. Um, whoops. Personality restructuring. Citizens who are found to be harbouring delusional treasonous thoughts against the Omnibrain undergo a period of personality restructuring. This is designed to create the love and worship for the Omnibrain which normal citizens possess naturally. Company citizens. All citizens are fortunate subjects of the Omnibrain. It is each citizen's duty to devote their lives to the service and maintenance of the joyous utopia afforded by the benevolence of the Omnibrain. Citizens who lead happy and productive lives and love only the Omnibrain will be known as executives and will receive their reward in company headquarters at the end of their natural lives. Okay, I think we've done enough research for now. Feeble has broken enough laws at the moment, so one more shouldn't hurt. Greetings, citizen. And something tells me that there is a puzzle involved with this. I've got your soda. Hang on. Nice one. How's it going? Not bad. I could do with another one. Now look here. Come on man, it's for a good cause. Since when has your sex life been a good cause? It's good for me. Same again if you don't mind. Well, it's nice to be appreciated. I'm sure that we will return. I've got to go soon. Attention, Enforcement Central. This is Agent 32. This is Enforcement Central, Citizen. Put me through to the Major Priority Code Alpha. Putting you through, Citizen. Have a nice cycle. I thought I asked not to be disturbed. Sorry, sir, but there's an Alpha Priority Call on Line 4. Ah, Agent 32. That's right, sir. Shall I have him deleted, sir? No, I have been expecting him. Put him through. Right away, sir. Greetings, 32. Greetings, Citizen Major. What is your report? Queen Bee has left the honey and fled the nest, sir. Excellent. And where is the honey now? The wild bear took it, sir. One of them? I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> sir, uh, I I'm really... not interested in your excuses, 32. I want to know just who this wild bear is, and I want to know now. Is that understood? Yes, sir. I'll get on it immediately. No. I've got a better idea. 
You get back inside and act as normal. We'll pick him up at this end and find out what we need to know. Yes, sir. That'll be all, 32. It seems there is a loose cannon on this sinking ship. Let's just hope he knows exactly what he's got himself into. This may not make much sense at the moment, but this is purely for convenience of time. Greetings, citizen. Ban the loyal citizen's latest music disc, Omnibrain Soul for Grooveful Worship. This disc is highly treacherous! Exclamation mark. The loyal citizens are leading real loyal citizens astray. Two exclamation marks. Protect yourself and your junior citizens from this source of subliminal, treasonous propaganda. Three exclamation marks. Then there's a load of examples of it. Greetings, citizen. It looks like it really is broken now. Yeah, at the moment it doesn't exactly look like this is going to accomplish much. I mean, what, we enlarged it from A4 to A A3, maybe? Even if I could, why would I want to? I believe that this is the last time we will visit the Ministry of Galactic Insurgency, so we don't have to worry about that at the moment. Let's head to Metro Prime and explore a new area. Well, at the moment, they're all new areas. Citizen, but I cannot let you unload without a permit. G come on, citizen, give me a break. I come through here every cycle. I could drop it off later. That would be against docking regulations, citizen. But I'd give it to you next cycle. No one would know. I would know, citizen. I don't think I could live with myself. Okay, friend. We're both adult citizens, right? Oh, right. And we both know that sometimes you just have to bend the rules a little to get anywhere. I don't follow you, citizen. Well, if you scratch my heart to reach places, I scratch yours. Are you suggesting some sort of bribe, citizen? Mm, you said it, not me. You realize that offering bribes to Omnicore employees is a violation, citizen? Do not think of it as bribes. Think of it as icing on an otherwise very boring cake. I'm sorry, but are you offering me bread products if I let you unload? That I need to be sure for my report. Look, are you going to let me unload or not? Have you got the docking permits? We've been through this before, I think. I already told you I must have mislaid them somewhere. But in that case, citizen, I cannot let you unload. Look, citizen, do you know what I'm carrying in this freighter? I presume that you're carrying chemical supplements as usual. That's right. Chemical supplements. Do you know what happens to 40 tons of chemical supplements if they're not stored properly? I would imagine they go off, citizen. Right again. They go off. 
Do you know what happens to me if 40 tons of chemical supplements go off whilst under my care? You'll probably get sent to Cygnus Alpha for a first offence. Believe it or not, citizen, I don't want that to happen. I agree. It would be most unfortunate, citizen. But you see, citizen, it doesn't need to happen. Oh, have you found the docking permit? <laughs> uh, citizen? What? Can you move your freighter, please? It's obstructing the docking area. I can't go back without unloading. Maybe so, citizen, but this is not a parking zone. And therefore, your vehicle is in violation of parking regulations. Stop your parking regulations! I will have to report this treasonous behaviour to an enforcer, citizen. I wouldn't advise that course of action, citizen. Three cycles ago, there was error on my docking permits, which you failed to spot. This constitutes a dereliction of duty offence. How are you now attempting to blackmail me, citizen? Let's just say that my memory is likely to improve under interrogation. Whilst I may be prepared to ignore your actions, citizen, I'm afraid I still cannot permit unloading without the correct permit. Haven't you got anything better to do than this? There are another 22 freighters waiting to unload, citizen. However, they cannot do so until your freighter has been moved out of the way. And my freighter isn't moving until it has unloaded its cargo. I could have it forcibly removed, citizen. Not without the relevant paperwork signed in triplicate, citizen. Tell me, how long does it take to fill in 70 sheets of paper three times? Many cycles, citizen. See my point? I agree that that course of action would be extreme. So, just let me unload my stuff and I'll be out of your hair before you can say I love the Omnibrain. That would seem to be sensible. At last. But I cannot possibly allow it. I cannot believe this. You know the rules, citizen. I think I'm going to have to sit down. Well, that was long. A huge cargo carrying space freighter. Now, against my better judgment, I'm going to attempt to possibly speak to these people. Can I help you, citizen? Well, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation. What appears to be the problem? Nothing to do with you. This citizen failed to provide the correct docking permits. I've got ship full of supplements which need unloading. Calm down, citizens. Does not the Omnibible teach us to respect and love our brother and sister, citizens? I'm not saying that I don't, citizen. I respect and love this citizen dearly. Oh, that's very kind, citizen. I... I love you too. But... I have to unload now. Vif of his out permits. What an unpleasant situation, uh, citizens. Good cycle. Yeah, good cycle. Now, where is the. Oh, it must be here. The Omnibrain provides free air to all citizens. Oh, that's nice of him. Or her. I've got plenty of air already. Citizens of Metro Prime, it's your one and only Omnibrain speaking. The Chemical Supplement Division has finally finished work on its latest super pill, the Super Smiley. This miracle of modern science will mean you never need to be unhappy again. The Super Smiley acts on the facial muscles, resulting in a permanent grin that's second to none. Get some soon at your local stockist! Lovely. It's locked. I could do with some of that right now.
You need to show your ticket here to get in. Okay, I didn't really mean to do that, but we are here now. And this looks quite familiar. It's good to talk. There's someone using it at the moment. Excuse me, citizen. Yes? I was just wondering if you were going to be long, only I need to use the phone. Hmm. I really have to go soon. My shift manager will miss me. I wonder if the two are connected. Citizen. Greetings. They're one of my favorite supplements to relax with after a long, hard cycle. I'm far too busy to waste a double cycle with any of those. I've never tried this supplement before. I don't think they're really me. I used to love machines like this when I was a junior citizen. I'm too big to ride on that thing. This special supplement is meant for intellectually challenged citizens only. This citizen runs the pill shop. I think this citizen is the most popular citizen in this whole area. Greetings citizen. How can I help you, citizen? I'm looking for something... new? I know exactly what you need, citizen. You do? They're called... Charisma X. Charisma X? That's right. They're practically... illegal. What's the X for? That, well, I guess that would be for... Extra Strong. And... Extra effective, citizen. They're that good. Citizen, these things are the business. Now, don't get me wrong here, but you look like a shy sort of person. Am I right or am I right? Well, I don't know about shy. Okay, okay, forget shy. How about timid? Insecure? A little uncertain, maybe. Oh, I don't know. I mean, maybe. How do you know? It's the hair. A dead giveaway. Anyway, for people like you, Charisma X is the supplement to have. The hair? What hair? I'm sold. I'll take some. You have made a wise decision, citizen. There's... Only one problem. What's that? We sold out earlier this cycle. Oh, great. I am expecting a delivery very soon, though, citizen. In fact, it was supposed to arrive 20 clicks ago. Oh, I guess I'll come back later then. You do that, citizen. I'll put aside the first bottle just for you. Thank you, citizen. Good cycle. Well, feeble, you didn't actually have to walk out, but I guess it did save some time. And I'm also guessing that the freighter captain has something to do with these late pills. I don't have anything to confess that they don't already know about. It would be a waste of valuable company time if I were to go in there. Yes, ma'am. 
a most attractive female citizen, if it weren't for all that horrible hair stuff. Excuse me, citizen. How can I help you? I've come to see the chief. Do you have an appointment? I was ordered back here. What's your name? Feeble. As in weak and pathetic. Mm, I'm sorry, citizen, but no one's allowed to see the minister without an appointment. In that case, I'd like to make an appointment, please. I'll just check for you. Ah, oh, yes. Here we are. I've got a space in 37 cycles time. 37 cycles? I'll have been deleted by then. My condolences, citizen. Well, thank you very much, citizen. You've been a big help. All right, Feeble. No need to get snarky. Had any cancellations? I'm afraid not, citizen. Oh, I'm just off to have my headstone done. What do you think of this one? It was all her fault. I cannot be held responsible for your lack of organisation, citizen. You mean I was supposed to make an appointment 30 cycles ago for a meeting I didn't even know I had to have? That's the way of it, citizen. I feel put upon. Stress. I feel stress. Here you are, citizen. What's this? Relaxation pill. Works wonders for me. Oh, that's good. Can I have another one? They're for emergencies only. I think I'll go and buy some. Good cycle. Any cancellations? I'm afraid not. Oh well, thanks for trying. Good cycle. Okay, how did that trigger from looking at the guard? Anyway, let's go back to the first area. Or we go here instead. It vends maps of this sector for one credit. I've got to put a credit in it in order to make it do anything. Greetings, citizen. Now, do we actually have any credits? No. I can use it to look out on the wonders of the galaxy. Well, that was nice. This Class A pass machine is obviously a trap to catch stupid traitors. No loyal citizen would attempt to purchase a pass above their station. I can see into the airlock through here. I don't get it. Well, neither do I at the moment, but I'm sure it will reveal itself soon. I don't think that'll make any difference. Okay, now it's the time to return to the first area. And I told... Okay. And I told a second lie. We have to come here instead. Read all about it. This citizen sells copies of the local paper, the Metro News. It's a directive violation to have pointless conversations during company time. Metro News. Get your Metro News. It's pretty solid looking. This must be the place. Yes. Uh, I was um, asked to deliver this. Yes. 
What? I was um, to told there was money. Uh, that is, I was told I would get paid uh, when I delivered it. Thanks a lot. Uh, good cycle. Attention all citizens! Ignorance is no excuse for treachery. Contact your friendly enforcer for the latest directive updates. Nothing interesting. Well, this was a pleasant person, but now I have some credits. Let's go and let's go back to the observation area. Greetings, citizen. This is more hard cash than I've ever had before. Wait, was that was that an actual amount? This is more hard cash than I've ever had before. I don't really want a star spotter's map, but if the Omnibrain has provided it, it must be useful for something. Hmm, surely this machine cannot be broken. We can find out. Greetings, citizen. Let's just... This is more hard cash than I've ever had before. And the subtitles disappear. There's little chance of a company vending machine failing twice in a row. How strange. There must be traitors working in this area. Greetings, citizen. I'll try one last time. Stupid machine. Oh no, what have I done? I just broke a serious directive. I attempted to vandalize company property. What am I going to do? They're going to find out and send me to Cygnus Alpha for sure. I know. I'll confess immediately. The Omnibrain is sure to forgive me this first time. Yes, that's what I'll do. Confess. Right away. Um, Feeble, you do have a, actually have a track record. I don't think this is going to go down too well. <laughs> 